Hello and welcome to Seven Sentinels. This is Grand Master Class, and I'm Peter Simon with you. Today we are conducting a listening test, Part A, and this is the official authentic material. So you can see here. Now we are going to do brainstorming just to go through this. Yes, just to go through this. Questions. Study these questions. I'm giving you one minute to study these questions. I'll be explaining the important points. Before that, you consider this one. Think differently. I'm going to show you how your mind should work. I'm going to train your mind how you should reason. Today we are going to learn the art of brainstorming. Because we don't think. We depend on the audio. We depend on the sound. We depend on the script. We depend on, we wait for that one. Instead of that, if you brainstorm, you'll get a lot of answers. Yeah. Now let us. Now there are four students Ashwini, Sudha, Bhavani, Ashwini, Kodandapani. Ashwini, Sudha, Ashwini, Kodandapani. Okay. Fine. And uh, Mahesh. Right. So. We are going to see a different style of reading now, listening. Okay.
Now here, you are seeing, you hear a pediatrician. So this is called a brainstorming. Yeah. Those who have disturbance background, don't open the mic. Okay. I'm giving you power to open the mic. But you open the mic only if you can manage sounds. I should not hear any background sounds. Okay. And when I ask somebody, they should be ready for class now. Okay. They should be ready to open your mic and speak. Now, um, yes, Mahesh Kalal. Mahesh Kalal, unmute your mic. When I take your name, automatically you can unmute. Okay. What do you think this is about? What do you think this consultants, okay, consultation is about? Mahesh Kalal. Bhavani. From this word, what do you think? Pediatrician, when you see the word pediatrician, what do you think? You can unmute. Okay. Bhavan Mahesh, you can unmute. Yes, sir. What, when you hear the word pediatrician, the first word you see, what do you think? Give me what all you know about pediatrician. Come on, fast, fast, fast. He will be examining the sir, uh, his uh, the child. Children, yes. Pediatrician yes. is one who examines children. Yeah. Next. Sir, it is about it is about scabies or some skin condition of child, sir. No, pediatrician. Only pediatrician. We don't yeah. know about pediatrician it. means pediatrician means it, uh, six years old. No, sir, it is a child. If no, it I'm is only talking six about years pediatrician. Years. What do you mean by pediatrician? It's a only consultant uh, for children. Consultant yeah. for pediatrician children. means a specialist. Pediatrician is a doctor. Yeah. Pediatrician looks after small children. Pediatrician looks at the age only below adults. Okay, some level of age, maybe 10 years or 8 years below that one. Is that correct? Pediatric, pediatrics means what age, maybe roughly? Yeah, pediatrician means what, roughly? Yeah, anybody? He will be describing the uh, like disease condition, sign and symptoms yeah. will be described by him. Okay, pediatrician, can he talk to the small children? He's dealing he with small can children. Talk, sir. Yeah, because yeah, sir, children can cannot talk. understand. Children cannot understand. So they will be talking with their mother or father or caretakers or caregivers. Some adults will be there. So here, so he is talking to the mother and the child is six years old. So he's a six year old boy. Boy. And the name of the boy is Daniel. That's it. And uh, you should complete the answers using the word or short phrase that you hear. You cannot use your own words. Whatever comes there, those words only you have to use. You cannot use your own imagination. You cannot use your own imagination. You have to follow these things. You have to listen to the sounds. You have to listen. Then you have to write the same words. You cannot write anything out of your imagination. Okay. Now you have 30 seconds. In these 30 seconds, you have to see 12 questions. 30 seconds, 12 questions. That means each question is two and a half seconds. Each question is two and a half seconds. That's it. So we have to go through all these questions. 
we have to go through all these questions. That's it. Yeah. Now, the name of the patient is Daniel Lemmings and he is six years old. Fine. Now, coming to the point. Be ready, all of you. So we are going to question numbers one to five now. We are going to question numbers one to five. Yeah. Now we are taking description of the physical complaint. Physical, 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 not mental. This is physical, not psychological. Physical means physical observation. That means he is seeing with his eyes, he is touching with his hands. Okay, physical examination in person. So, remember that physical complaint, physical complaint, not psychological, physical complaint. So, this is the first question. Now, let us focus on this first question. This is the first question. Now we are going to focus only on this first question. Okay. We are going to focus on this first question. Now what I want you to do is. What I want you to do is. Yeah. Now skin on Daniel's hands is both. Skin on Daniel's hands is both. So question number one. Don't write anybody until I tell you to write. Question number one. Skin on Daniel's hands is both. Skin on Daniel's hands is both. That means is. Skin on Daniel's hands is dry. Skin on Daniel's hands is wet. Skin on Daniel's hand is rough. So his skin is rough. Skin is soft, skin is wet, skin is dry, or it may be anything like that. So we need two things here. So how does the skin look like? Skin on Daniel's hands is both. Two things we need. Yes. Type your words. What all brainstorming? Come on. Type your words now. What words may come? I think the word may be, um, yeah, uh, Mahesh. Write R small letter. You should never write capital letters in the blanks. Until and unless it is necessary. Yeah. Rough. Write again with R small letter. Dry, peeled, delicate, red. Yeah, Ashwini Sudha says dry. Rough and dry. Very good, Mahesh. Thank you for being very obedient. Yeah, Pranita says rough and dry. Very good. Come on, think about others. Only rough and dry, only dry. Come on, think about other words. Think about as many words as possible. Yeah, force, force, you are dehydrated. Come on, think. Why are you silent? Think. Think. If you cannot think now, how can you exam? think in the exams? I'm giving you a way how to think. Start thinking. Dehydrated, coarse, rough, dry, wet, oily. Okay. Maybe broken. What you can what you can tell this broken uh, wrinkled 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 means with folds. What are the other words? Come on, come on. Yeah, Dr. Rashid, come on.
Yes, scaly. Why Ashwin is Sudha? Why again skin? Skin is scaly skin. What do you mean by skin is scaly? Skin is scaly skin. How does that skin come again? Right again without skin. Skin is already there in the question. Why do you want to repeat that? Yeah, pale. Ashwini Sudha, I want you to rewrite with correct. Skin is not needed. I'm waiting for your answer. Yes, that is what I want. That's very obedient. Yeah. Yeah, what else can be there? Itching, maybe itching. Yeah, very good. Pranita, you have written already. Okay. Delicate, thin. Okay, blistered. Very good. Bhavani. Come on. Think. Yeah. Afterwards, collect all these words. Write in your notebooks, everyone. Everyone writing, irritating. Yeah. Very good. All these words you can write in your notebook and then put it in the group so that these words can be given for listening. We are finding out the words which will come commonly in the exam. Irritating, itching, blistered, uh, painful. Or uh, whatever you think. Yeah, bluish, very good. Right. So now we have gone to question number one. Now let us take question number two. Yeah, question number two. Daniel's pain is described as. Daniel's pain is described as. So how can you describe the pain? Yeah. How can you describe the pain here? So... Skin on hand, Daniel's hand is both dashed. Pain is described as. So how the pain is described? Maybe mild, maybe moderate, maybe benign, maybe unbearable. Pranita Pamarthi spelling. Somebody help Pranita Pamarthi to write the correct spelling. Otherwise, if nobody helps Pranita, go to the dictionary and find out. Somebody will definitely help. Severe. What is the spelling of severe? Somebody help. Somebody needs your help. Why are you sitting silently? Correct the spelling. Give them. Yeah. Ahmed Abdullah's S a small letter. Very good. Thank you for writing. But you made a mistake now. So because you gave the mistake, it's corrected. Severe spelling. Yeah. Write again with Dr. Ahmed. Write again severe without capital letter. Because you cannot write capital letter in the middle. Write again. I want to see. It. Yeah. Tingling, mild, beyond endurance, severe. Very good. Very good. Thank you, Mr. Abdullah. Dr. Abdullah, thank you. Be very obedient like this. Yeah. Next one. Whatever. Mild, moderate. Okay. Bearable, unbearable. Okay. Uh, then what else you can write? Come on. This many students, these uh, so many students are there and you cannot give more words. Come on. Think. Think differently. Bhavani, pinching, small letter, P. Why did you write capital letter? Don't say computer problem. It's your problem. You have to say it right. What type of description is there? Rewrite with small letter, Bhavani. Next. Yeah, that's good. I was waiting for that one. Yeah, now question number three. Yeah, acute. Very good. Ashwini Sudha. Is this Ashwini Sudha different from Ashwini Kothandapani? Scroaching. Scroaching. What do you mean by scroaching? I don't know. Scroaching. Scorching or scroaching. Okay. So Ashwini Sudha. Same. Okay. Okay. Very good. Yeah. Uh, fine. Uh, question number three. Daniel's condition. Yeah, unrelenting. Yes. Daniel's, sorry, occasionally accompanied by no itching or scratching. Oh, scratching. Uh, you wrote scratching. No. No itching or scratching. She No itching. No scratching. That's already given him. Excruciating. Okay. Excruciating, no. Spelling is excruciating. 
E X E R U. No, I will not write. Somebody help. Excruciating. That is the word. Somebody help. This many students are there. Teacher needs to give spelling. Yeah, that's it. Ahmed Abdullah. Excruciating. Very good. Bawani. Excruciating. Very good. So why do your teacher doesn't need to explain these things? Many people are there here to help one another. Okay, so be active. Who is this iPhone? I cannot call you iPhone. Can you give your name, please? Okay, I gave you the name first second. Can you give the name, please? I want the name. Thank you. Yeah, next. Uh, yeah, question number occasionally accompanied by. Question number three. Question number three. Occ occasionally accompanied by. By what? Occasionally accompanied by what? No itching, no scratching, but occasionally accompanied by what? Rubbing is not there because no scratching. Eh? Edema, okay. Itching. No itching, Mahesh. Itching, no next to see there before. No itching, no scratching. Okay, sweating, okay. Swelling, okay. Maybe blisters. Blisters, maybe. Or wounds. Or cuts. Write down whatever you want. Yeah, maybe bleeding, redness. Good. Anything else? Think, think, think. Pus formation. Very good, Pranita. Very good. Yeah, pus formation. Yeah, Jyoti, Jyoti Karnegi, okay. So, pus formation, okay. Then anything else? Okay, next question number four. Question number four. Daniel's condition began last dash. What may the words be? Come on, think. Think, this is a very easy question. Imagine, imagine. Imagine Daniel's condition began last dash. Daniel's condition began by last dash. Began. When did it start? Last dash. Yeah. Began last Pula. Daniel's condition began last Varsena. Began last what? Yeah, last week, last month, last night. Mahesh, night. Night, rewrite night with small letter. Okay, yeah, very good. Thank you. Last week, last fortnight, last month, last Sunday, last Monday. Okay, last, okay, last month, last year. Last year maybe, since the last one year, since for the last one year. Or since last year, last week, last fortnight. Or last vacation. Or last summer. Or last winter. Or last uh, um, autumn, last fortnight, F O R T N I G H T. These words, any word may come in the exam. So, whatever we are discussing, all these words will come in the exam. So, you have to be mentally ready. Okay, winter, summer, spring, autumn. Okay, summer, spring, autumn. Okay, last fortnight. 
So all these words, these words write and keep them because these will be repeated. Okay, these will be repeated. Next one. Question five. Question five. Question five. Yeah. Uh, Daniel's symptoms worsened by dash. Daniel's symptoms worsened by dash. So no itching, no scratching. He did not itch, he did not scratch. So those are out of Priya. Yeah. Those are out of points. Yeah. Priya, second name, please. Yeah. So, second name, please, Priya. Uh, next one. So, Priya Chinna Swami. Okay. Yes. So, Daniel symptoms worsened by what? Yeah, dirt exposure, improper dressing by using wrong products. Okay, think the reason, anything. Yeah. So that's it. Chemicals, climate change. C capital letters, no, small letters, sun exposure. Not sun exposure, exposure to sun. Exposure to sun. Exposure to sun. Yeah. So next. Okay. All right. Sixth question. Sixth question. Wearing the silk gloves at night. Wearing silk gloves at night. Treating with what? Question number six. Question number six. Treating with what? Treating with what? Yeah, anti-allergic medication. Anti-allergic. Jyotika Nagi, write a small letter. Okay. Dr. Ahmad Rashid. Yeah, Priya Chinnasamy, write a b small letter. Then uh, Dr. Uh, Ahmed, uh, okay, Chinnaswami, uh, climate change, C small letter, K 
chemicals as a small letter. Yeah. Uh, Ahmed Abdullah, exposure to sun, not sun exposure. Exposure to sun. Analgesics, moisturizers, lotion, very good. So those who have written with capital letters, you can remove capital letters and write normal. Yes, uh, by over the counter, over the counter, over hyphen the hyphen counter, Mahesh, right again, over the counter meditation with hyphens, okay, emollients, Priya Chinnasamy, single M, not double M, emollients, single M, right again, right again, right again. Yeah, very good, Mahesh. Very good. Very obedient. Over the counter should be written like this. Everyone, write, not only write here, write in your notebook all these words, please. Because they are very important. If you learn these words, they will come in the exams and you will be ready with these words. Balm, B-A-L-M, balm, lotion, then cream, ointment. Okay. Uh, medication, heat pad. Cold pad. Okay, cool cream. Cool cream or cold cream? Uh, then powder, gel. Anything may be there. Okay, next step. Question number 17. Uses his sister's dash. Uses his sister's dash. What? What? Okay. He uses his sister's dash. What? What does he use? Uses his sister's dash. Maybe cream. Maybe ointment. Maybe uses his sister's uh, okay gloves. Anything may be there. Cream, cosmetics, good. Antiseptic. Antiseptic is one word. Not separate. Uses his sister's dash. So, next one. Question number eight. Seems to improve during the dash. The condition improves during the dash. Maybe night, maybe day, maybe evening. Assessment may not be right, but you have to write small letter that also. Seems to be improved during the assessment. During the night, maybe, because of the cold weather, maybe during the summer, maybe during the winter, okay. During the night time, during the day time, conditions improve during the what, the particular period, okay. During the mornings, during the afternoon, during the evenings, during night, during day, Okay. Yeah. Background information. Background information. Daniel has no problems at school. Okay. Daniel has no problems at school. People describe Daniel's character as. So question number nine. Okay. People describe Daniel, Daniel's character as dash. 
character how can somebody's character be described as naughty maybe naughty maybe problematic maybe funny very good jyotika stunning very good lazy good cool good character different types of character you can describe active hyperactive active hyperactive okay friendly okay what else you can write come on creative okay smart uh, talented active hard working character maybe intelligent dull character obedient loving kind generous friendly problematic obedient disobedient okay so all these words can be used next one is question number 10 Daniel has a tantrums. Daniel has a tantrums. Finds any dash hard to handle. Finds any something. Finds any dash hard. Hard means difficult already there. Hard means difficulty already is there. finds any dash hard to handle any situation may be any problem may be any question may be any test may be any changes may be any changes ah uh, okay then so regular things he do so he makes the change you will find it difficult anything in that matter maybe any fluctuations maybe any problem maybe okay right that is question number 10 any subject maybe right so next one question number 11 question number 11 yeah daniel is overly worried about the dash on his food on his food what will be there on his food okay maybe a house fly will fall on his food or a mosquito infection on his food bhavani can there be infection on his food allergy on his food de pranita allergy on his food yeah microorganisms okay daniel is overly worried about microorganisms on his food okay ramandeep impact may not come impact on his food no okay impact of his food maybe but on is already there okay any small small insects on his food or what are the other terms for some things okay dirt on the food uh what else 
small small things will be there no in the food yeah germs very good any other word come on guess because these are the words that you will get there small things if you cut vegetables you will see inside what are those pollens on the food already cooked why pollens insects okay some one more word will be there that word comes with uh, the letter i'm waiting anybody get right small small you say something is there in the fruit you will throw it off yeah germs yeah anything else one more word i did not get the word i'm waiting for the word fungus on his food okay any other word uh come on come on come on think the word starts with the w maybe the word starts with w can anybody think the food there will be w you see fruit you open it then you see something inside you call the oh uh, wamsa spelling please somebody correct the spelling Ranita has a problem with spelling. She openly accepts, and she writes ten, ten times. Yeah, worms. That's correct. See, she is able to identify the word, but she has the problem with spelling. In one way, she is very fast. In one way, she has problems. Yeah, write ten times again, Ranita. Like this word mistakes. Whatever you are writing, so worms maybe. So next one, question number twelve. Question number twelve. Um, she worries. He may be developing. Who mother? She worries. The mother worries. He may be developing. Actually, they should have given the mother. Okay. The mother worries. He may be developing dash. He may be developing dash, some fear, phobia, maybe developing phobia, or she may be developing. He may be developing what um, anxiety, yeah, phobia, anxiety. What else? Yeah, he may be developing over concerned. No, she worries he may be developing something. What is that something? Uh, yeah, OCD. What is the full form of OCD? Um, maybe everyone doesn't know what is OCD. So write down. Full form. When you write full form, no need capital letters. Anybody? What do you mean by OCD? Come on, write down. No need capital letters. Yeah, Pranita, obsessive, compulsive disorder. Very good. Without spelling mistake. Wow, wonderful. And who is this OCD? She has written Bhavani, but capital letter, no capital letter. You are wrong. You are mistake. Answer is wrong. Then write with small letter. Copy paste and remove capital letter and write small letter. Yeah. Fine. So what are the other shape to develop big word? Yeah. So now this is how you have to brainstorm. Now I'll play the audio. But before playing the audio, I want to ask you some questions. So now what all the words you have, you can immediately recognize 
and when you are doing the test all these words will come into your mind because you have practiced now and when you listen to those words you can catch them very fast okay so fine now so brainstorming session brainstorming session i'm asking you so this session of brainstorming if you think it is extremely important you give 10 points 10 points if it is extremely important don't write anything now you write five points if it is just important and zero if it is unimportant how many you want to give 1 2 3 for 1 to 10 zero also you can give no problem no problem those who learn these words those who think like this one they will get uh, all the answers mostly okay if you feel that is unimportant just give zero if you feel that it is very important okay give 10 moderately important give 5 right yeah now those who give 10 out of 10 points write down all these words and use them in your notebook and memorize these words go through them every day whenever you are doing listening before doing listening go through these words because you are supposed to get 24 out of 24 in the part a you will get 24 out of 24 in the part a for if you do like this if you do like this and those who think that okay this is somewhat important five marks you need not write them okay just go like that one like however you feel practice and those who give zero don't bother about them at all right so these are extremely important these are extremely important that's why i'm explaining you these things so trust me those who learn these words whatever we have done keep them in front of you and these words will definitely come in each and every speaking session okay one way or the other way not all the words will come in every speaking session but some of the words will come in every speaking session so practice these words on a daily basis yeah so if you think that this is very important so we can do more sessions like this and we can fill in our brain with these things so now get ready i am going to play the audio yes and no distractions occupational english test listening test this test has three parts in each part you'll hear a number of different extracts at the start of each extract you'll hear this sound you'll have time to read the questions before you hear each extract and you'll hear each extract once only complete your answers as you listen At the end of the test, you'll have two minutes to check your answers. Part A. In this part of the test, you'll hear two different extracts. 
In each extract, a health professional is talking to a patient. For questions 1 to 24, complete the notes with information you hear. Now, look at the notes for extract 1. Extract 1, questions 1 to 12. You hear a paediatrician talking to the mother of a six-year-old boy called Daniel. For questions 1 to 12, complete the notes with a word or short phrase. You now have 30 seconds to look at the notes. Uh, Mrs. Lowings, uh, come in, please. Uh, I believe you're here to see me about your son, Daniel. Yes, he's six years old now, but I wanted to talk to you without him being here, at first, anyway. Uh, yes, of course. Uh, so tell me what seems to be the problem. Well, it's his hands. They're in really bad shape. It's mainly the skin, the way it looks. It's so cracked and dry. He's reluctant to complain about it, but I've managed to get him to tell me that it does hurt. Mm. Now, from what he says, I believe the pain is pretty much constant. Right. Uh, is this accompanied by any other symptoms? Mm. Well, yes. Although there's no itching or anything like that, I mean, I've never seen him scratching them. But the most worrying thing is that there's even bleeding sometimes. Right. Right. I just don't understand how they've got so bad. Uh, so when did all this begin? Oh, it's been months now. I thought it would clear up in the spring when the weather got warmer, because I initially put it down to that cold snap we had last winter. Yes. Yeah, and I mean, because that's when we first noticed it. But obviously I was wrong. I've tried to pin down what sets it off, and the thing I keep coming back to is all the hand washing. It makes it worse. And now I've tried to stop him, but it just upsets him if he can't do it, so we've, well, kind of given in. Mm. Have you tried any treatments? Oh, yes. We started with creams for dry skin, you know, just about every remedy you can buy over the counter. Mm. And they all helped a bit, but not much. And once we'd exhausted all those options, we moved on to the home remedies from the internet. I read about things like getting him to wear silk gloves at night. Let me tell you, they weren't very practical. Yes. And he was okay with the petroleum jelly treatment, though, so that's one of the things that we still use now. But also, his older sister, Sarah, has eczema, so another thing we're doing is using Sarah's aqueous cream. Yes. Sarah doesn't mind, but Daniel hates using his sister's stuff. And I don't want it to sound like I'm making things out to be worse than they actually are. It, it, I, it isn't always terrible. Some weeks are better than others, like, for instance, during the school holidays. There's a definite improvement then. Mm -hmm. uh, can you tell me a bit more background information about Daniel? Uh, how is he generally? Well, in some ways, he's fine. I mean, he's doing well at school, but his teachers have alluded to the fact that he's highly strung. Uh. That's definitely how I'd sum him up, too. <laughs> Take, for example, his tantrums. Last week, all hell broke loose because he had to go to the childminder on a different day. He spent the whole three hours there crying his eyes out. And this is a lady who's looked after him since he was five months old, so it's not like he doesn't know who she is. Right. So he finds it hard to cope with change. Is that a fair assessment? Well, yes, but it's not just that. When we go on a family day out, I now have to wrap all of his food in plastic cling film or he just won't eat it. Mm. He's convinced it'll have germs on it. I mean, honestly, it's just making things impossible. Uh, so, what are your main concerns? Well, I've done a fair bit of reading up on this, and that's why I wanted to come to see you by myself at first. I've heard about conditions such as Asperger's, but I don't honestly think it's that. Mm -hmm. What I am worried about is the possibility that this could be OCD, or at least the start of it. And what I'm worried about is, what's the best way to handle it? Well, you did the right thing coming to see me. Uh, what I would suggest...
Extract 2, questions 13 to 24. So there we are. Now get ready for the feedback. Yes. Now let us see the questions. Yeah. Now let us see the questions. Here I am with you. This is the feedback zone. The feedback zone. Yeah. Question number one. So... I'll give you the answers accordingly. Question number one. Only when I tell you, submit the answer. All of you write and keep the words. Write and keep the words. Don't submit until I tell you. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and submit. All of you submit. So let us check the answer now. Yeah, the first answer is cracked and dry. Cracked and dry. The first answer is cracked and dry. If the answer is correct, write one by one. If the answer is wrong, write zero by one. Yeah, update your score. Yes. Next is question number two. Yeah. Question number two. Yes. Daniel Spain described as a D is capital letter here. Why? Because name of a person. Otherwise, small letter. Okay. Otherwise, small letter. Okay. Daniel Spain described as Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and submit. Sandhya Kunjumon, should there be a P capital letter? Okay. Okay, now let us check the answer. The second answer is constant. The second answer is constant. Constant, the word is there. Now let me check whose answer is right and whose answer is wrong. Bhavani, right? Ashwini Sudha, right? Pranita, too much constant, right? Because too much is will be ignored. And constant, right, Raman? Ahmed Abdullah, right? Pretty much constant, right? So, yeah, if update your scores.
Yeah. Next one. Occasionally accompanied by something. What is that something? Occasionally accompanied by dash. Something. What is that something? Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and submit. Yeah, the third answer. Bleeding, right. Third answer is bleeding, right. Yes, update your scores. Then fourth question. Fourth question, Daniel's condition. Daniel's condition began last dash. Daniel's condition began last dash. Yes, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and submit. Bhavan, you have to write only one word. You cannot write two words. So select any one word. By default, if you write two words, even if right answer is there in that one, it is wrong. That's it. Yeah. Let us check our answer now. Fourth one is winter. Fourth answer is winter. Yeah. Next. Question number five. Daniel's symptoms worsened by dash. Daniel's symptoms worsened by dash. Daniel's symptoms worsened by dash. Yes. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one and submit. Yeah. Now there are two types of some people wrote together, some people wrote separately. So some people wrote separately, some people wrote together. Now we have to check which is the right answer here. So there are two types of writings. So let us check. Hand washing is one word. That means you don't know whether it is one word or two words. Don't think right just because you are writing two words, you'll get the mark. Hand washing is one word. There is no half mark. So you lost the mark here. Unless and until. Unless and until. Unless and until. Okay, the person who is correcting is mad or crazy. Okay, so now let us check. Uh, yeah, here, Bhavani says, I think so. Both are right, sir. You think so. How can you think? Huh? Let the Cambridge Dictionary think for us. Okay, hand washing. 
okay and wash okay, that is one word okay washing hand two words but hand washing is one word okay yeah this is merriam webster's dictionary hand washing okay you can write like this or you can write like this but two words is wrong okay hand washing one word or hand wash hand washing is only one word but you can put hyphen also is accepted but without hyphen so don't think like that bhavani don't ever think like that one so hand washing is one word with or without hyphen but not two words not two words see here hand washed hand washing hand washes with a hyphen or without a hyphen right so that's it so that's wrong those are written two words it's wrong right the next uh next question number 6 question number 6 treating with a dash treating with a dash yeah 7 6 5 4 3 2 one and submit treating with dash if anybody writes capital letter also it is mistake unnecessarily so petroleum jelly creams yeah treating with dash treating with dash treating with dash treating with dash petroleum jelly petroleum jelly petroleum jelly petroleum jelly petroleum jelly so learn according to cambridge dictionary or merriam webster dictionary okay sometimes they may accept sometimes they will not accept okay sometimes they will accept sometimes they will not accept so better to follow cambridge dictionary then you will not have any doubt so at least learn hand washing is only one word not two words mistake is a mistake if they give grace mark this for example if they give that's a grace mark grace mark mercy mark okay okay let them go on like that they will not give mark normally so petroleum jelly petroleum jelly then next question number 7 question number 7 uses his sister's dash uses his sister's dash seven six five four three two one 
and submit. Yeah. Submit your answers. Uses his sister's dash. Yeah. Achilles cream. Uh, okay. So let us check. Seventh answer. Aqueous cream. Aqueous means aqueous means watery. Cream. Aqueous cream. Aqueous cream. Not just a cream. If you write cream, you will not get the mark. Aqueous means watery solution. Aqueous cream. So you have to be listen very carefully. Aqueous cream. If you did not write aqueous cream, that means you lost your mark. Here it is already there, Bhavani. It's already there here. Okay. Learn the spelling aqueous cream. So, next question number eight. Question number eight. Question number eight. Don't be generous with your marks. If mistake is there, mistake itself. You cannot give marks. So little careful. Yeah. Uh, seven. Question number eight. Seems to improve during the dash. Seven. Six. Five. Four, three, two, one, and submit. Yes. School holidays. Not only holidays, it's a school holidays. It's a must. Sandhya, you lost. Dr. Uh, Abdul, Abdullah lost. Yeah, let me see who got the marks. Bhavani got the mark. Ashwini Sudha got the mark. Yeah. Only two people got the mark here. Only two. Bhavani and Ashwini Sudha. School holidays. Be very careful. Be very keen in listening. All of you. How can you miss the word school? How can you miss the word petroleum? How can you miss the word aqueous? Be very focused, concentrated. Listen very carefully. So, question number nine. People describe Daniel's character as. People describe Daniel's character as. Yeah, seven, six, 
सिक्स फाइव फोर थ्री टू एंड वन What all in your notebook? There also you can tick mark. Afterwards, you can send it to me personally or in the group. Yeah. Ahmad Abdullah, why capital letter? Yes. Highly strung. Highly strung. So listen the word carefully. Highly strung. Highly strung. Okay, so nobody understood this word. Strung and strong, strong, strung. Don't you recognize the pronunciation difference? Pronunciation difference. Strung, strong. You have to identify this difference. Okay. You have to identify the difference between the pronunciation up uh and ah. Uh. Strong, strung, strong, strung, strong, strung. Mnemonics. Pronunciation sounds, differences. You have to learn. Right. Question number seven. Finds any dash hard to handle? Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and submit. Renita Palmer, this spelling mistake. Okay. So let us see the tenth answer. Change. Change. So update your scores. Change. So question number eleven. Daniel is overly worried about dash on his foot. Daniel is overly worried about dash on his foot. Daniel is overly worried about dash on his foot. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and submit. Yeah. Gems. 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 Submit your scores. Yes. 
question number 12 she worries he may be developing dash she worries he may be developing dash okay 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 and submit no need to write full word just write shortcut enough just write shortcut enough that's enough uh pranita you wrote all small letters it should be capital letters they should be capital letters because they are this is not word this is abbreviation okay okay fine so 12 o c d o c d yes yeah all of you submit your scores please submit your scores please tomorrow we are having a speaking session at uh, uh, 3 pm okay i called everyone but only some students were there who attended in those students anybody is here uh, pranita ashwini ahmed pranita bhavani yeah bhavani was there ashwini pranita okay bhavani was there um then who else was there uh, ashwini sudha was there okay bhavani was there then muthu lakshmi was there so three students attended today's speaking session so um yeah yeah before that speaking we'll see yeah so was the brainstorming session really helpful this is a question was the brainstorming session really helpful i'm giving you 10 seconds okay if it is really helpful say yes if it is not helpful say no if you don't have any idea confusion then you say maybe yeah right yeah give your feedback for this session for this particular session yes give your feedback for this particular session i'm giving you one minute right one or two sentences maximum one minute i am giving you yeah if you say it is useful it is beneficial we'll have more of these sessions if you say this is useless session so we'll avoid these sessions
Iya. Now, Ashwini Sudha will speak about yeah. Yes. The video was blocked. Sorry, nobody told me. Okay. I was thinking my video was on. Yeah. Ashwini Sudha. You can unmute and you can speak in your own sentences. How the session was helpful for you. Speaking session in the afternoon. What did we do? You can start your video if you're comfortable because we are starting video sessions now. So whenever those who are dynamic, active, and very obedient and very serious, you can come and openly share your video, no problem. That shows that you are very attentive. You are not uh, sleeping in your bed and you are not cooking in the kitchen or you are not walking on the road and you are not listening. So that is what I tell. So Ashwini Sudha. So those who are very obedient, those who are readily available, those who are very active, those who uh, listen to me 100%, you can come on the video. So that shows me who are ready at every minute. So just to know that. Okay. So Ashwini Sudha, now you can yes. unmute and you can speak. Sir, I just attended only this session. The speaking session I didn't do. Okay, you did not attend the speaking session. Your friend, yes. I think. Okay, fine. No problem. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Sir. Okay, you can share about this speak this session, what you learned about this session. So this was my first session. And I, I learned what all the words could be used when you when a sentence is formed and what are the possibility of words I could use, different words to the particular sentence. And it was helpful me when other, other people were just uh, uh, typing out, I could, get, I could gain some knowledge so that could be used by me for the next thing. Okay. Did you attend any other sessions of anybody else uh, who is teaching, listening like this before? And if you have already attended, how this session stands out or different? Or what do you feel, the comparison? Don't talk any name of any institution or teacher. Just tell, what, how does this session differ from other sessions, in your own words, if you have already attended? So not it, sir. I have not attended any sessions. This is my first This is session. the first session. Yeah, okay, that's fine. That's fine. Very good. Very good. Ashwini Sudha, can you introduce yourself to the other group members? Um, hello to everyone. I'm Ashwini. Uh, I have completed my MSc nursing and I'm working as a principal in Swarna Institute of Nursing. I Wait, got where are you? Uh, to my friend. I'm located in Bangalore, sir. And uh, I got uh, first contact to my friend who's in Dublin. Where uh, on the first day of introduction, tell your uh, friend's name. She already passed uh, the exam. Tell your friend's name. She she's she joined. Uh, actually, my friend's friend had cleared up her exam, sir. I don't know who she. Uh, me and my friend joined together day before yesterday. My friend and uh, I joined. Yeah, Not my me, friend and I. My friend and I. Yeah. Other person my first. Friend. Uh, I think I, I yeah, you, correct, you corrected me, sir. You forgot. It On is my... there in your blood. They clean your blood. Your dialysis. Hmm. Yeah, sir. I'll do it. Her friend's name is Vaidehi Kokre, and she is already our student, and she just passed. Okay, she was very happy. She was the one who was crying. Tears were rolling from her eyes, and she said, "Thank you very much, sir." So she called her friend, and that friend and this friend, both of them joined. Uh, this batch. Yeah, that's fine. Why the he cocra is her name. Next. Okay. Thank you. And uh, uh, yeah, yeah, continue. Con uh, sorry. Uh, you're saying something. Yeah, continue. Ashwini Sudha, you can continue. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So can you hear me? Yeah, my yeah. Friend friend. Uh, my friend introduced me to Sir, and I'm very happy to be part of uh, this training. Center. And uh, yeah, before giving admission, I asked 101 questions, and afterwards, when she would accept it, then I gave the admission. She is the one who joined with complete fees, and uh, she is very serious. She is from Dublin, 
and uh, Ireland. And uh, somehow the name she earlier one day before she did not know about me. So through her friends, they came to know. And that's what I feel very happy. I did not advertise. I did not do anything. One person passes on to the other person and they join. That's really very nice. I feel very happy for that. Next, uh, Muthu Lakshmi. Muthu Lakshmi, you can speak about your afternoon speaking session. How was the session? Can you unmute? Can you start your video, Muthu, please? Yes, sir. Yes. Thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah, you can share your experience. Be happy yes. because you have done a very good job. Yes, sir. Good evening to all. Uh, today at 3, 3 p.m. Uh, we had a speaking session. It was a live video session which was carried out by Peter Simon sir. And it was like a rapid fire. Uh, immediate um, the task, what they have given in that uh, role play card, we need to fulfill that in a systematic and without any grammatical mistakes, we need to attend. And with the SIRS guidance, uh, really, uh, it's one of the new experience which we had uh, never met with anyone, any institute or any kind of training people. And also it's uh, one of the pioneer to um, carry out our OET journey. That was really the uh, really good and uh, experience is different. Uh, under this under SIRS supervision, it was um, happened, and um, I feel it's really um, giving a, a strength and courage to meet the exams without any fear. And uh, definitely, it's one of the good measures to understand our capacity towards the speaking module. Yeah, thank you very much. Yes, sir. Um, next. Uh, yeah. Fine. So that's how we are going to do these things. And um, um, it's already 2320. So fine. So same style you do with the part A. Take the previous tests which you have done. Try to study them. Then afterwards do the listening and then do. Normal test you do, one reading, one listening, one writing, one speaking you do. But after that, when you get time, take the previous reading sessions which you have done. Take part A question, sorry, take the previous listening tests. Take part A. So take one session, one, one to 12 questions or 13 to 16, 20, 24 questions. Take them, only 12 questions you take at a time. And study those things. Guess. Expect what you are expecting. Try to identify what word will fit there. What words will not fit there. Okay, guess, brainstorm, activate your gray matter. And then write down around that blank here and there to the right side or to the left side. You can write so that you will remember those words. And... Uh, Related words and those words, when they come, you can immediately catch them because you are already ready with those things. That is what I tell you. So that's the session for now. Thank you all very much. Have a nice day. Good night. If anyone wants to speak anything, you can. It doesn't mean that I did not ask you. Yeah, Santhya Kunjumon. This is another very obedient student. She joined with us and I told her, you are not ready for the exam. She was uh, wanted to go for the exam. And when I said, these are my suggestions, better you don't go for the exam. You take, prepare well and do the exam. And she said, she was struggling to take a decision. Then afterwards she took a decision and she told her, uh, uh, people, no, I will listen to Simon, sir. And yesterday she called me and said, sir, is it possible that I can come there and learn? I really appreciated her seriousness. Not only postponed her exam, she wanted to take on the 15th of next month. She said, sir, you told me I have taken the decision. And all her, her friends appreciated her. 
Okay, that's what in her own words she will be telling those things. Good evening, sir. Good evening, Leon. Uh, sir, yeah, no, whatever you told, it's true. I was struggling to take the decision that uh, whether I have to take or not. And because uh, my last date is uh, I am associated with management. So they told that uh, before 16th itself, you have to complete the examination because the UK team is coming for the uh, practice and all. So before that, I have to complete the OET examination. Then I told to my management that uh, I'm not eligible to take the, uh, write the examination. Uh, then uh, after a long discussion, they uh, now also 100% agree, uh, uh, they didn't agree. Then also 95% they give the permission that, uh, okay, uh, again, you can try and you can think. Then I told, no, I have to be in my decision then immediately i call to simon sir, sir this is my problem and uh, uh, now i talk with my management because of you only uh, you are like um who are my friends are there yeah in night uh, whatever i am writing the letter uh, the reading uh for that uh, simon sir uh, whenever i am giving immediately he is calling sandhya switch on your video and he is giving me correction like father, uh, not father, grandfather. And <laughs> now my friends are calling him as, uh, instead of grand, grandmaster, they are calling him as grandfather, grandfather of Sandhya. Like that, uh, my friends are calling. So it's a, what I should say, it's a credit and not credit, it's an asset that uh, Simon sir is my master thank you okay. uh, very nice um yeah ashwini is here ashwini is here hello ashwini ashwini same ashwini right okay fine fine yeah that's it so we have done with them now we'll talk to dr ahmed abdullah hello dr ahmed abdullah you can share your experience Yeah, Dr. Ahmed, if you are comfortable, you can share your experience. Okay, so that's the end of the session. Have a nice day. Good night. Good night, sir. Yeah.